Mitsubishi reveals its newest Evo and a 4 GT breathes fire. I'm Gene Sanchez and that's all today on Fast Lane Daily. With news from the showrooms and design studios of the automotive world, this is Fast Lane Daily. Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. If you're a fan of the Mitsubishi Evo, today's your birthday. The company released its first official photos of the Hot Lancer's latest version, that is the 2008 Evo 10. The new model is the all-wheel drive, high-performance version of the redesigned 08 Mitsubishi Lancer. And it's not just new on the outside. Mitsubishi says the Evo 10 will come with a new lightweight 2.0 liter engine and a 6-speed automanual transmission that's similar to Volkswagen's DSG. The company also fitted the Evo 10 with an all-new traction and handling system. And if this photo is any indication, it may even come with two different tires. We'll get a better look at the 2008 Evo 10 later this year at the Tokyo Auto Show. Switzerland's Mate Concepts is working up a 4 GT to compete in the Mon racing. Mate hopes to field three of the fire-breathing Fords on the GT3 racing circuit. The cars may bring back memories for sports car racing fans. Ford stunned the European racing crowd back in 1966 when its GT40 took the top three spots at the 24 hour of Le Mans. A supercar for Aston Martin and a baby brother for the Audi R8? That's in the internet rumor mill sponsored by Royal Purple after this. Got a story for Fast Lane Daily? We want to know about it. Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastLaneDaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Fast Lane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. What's next for Aston Martin? According to Auto Express, the company's separation from Ford isn't slowing them down. Word is a new supercar could be in the works. Reports say it'll be a mid-engine model called the NPX and it would compete with the world's most expensive sports cars at a price of $500,000. But even still, insiders say we won't likely see the NPX before the next decade. And finally, if you're waiting for Audi to build its own version of the Porsche Boxster, you may be in luck. Word is the company is working on a mid-engine sports car that'll be a smaller version of the Audi R8. It may be called the Audi R4. Those who are familiar with the project say it'll come in both 270 and 350 horsepower versions. That wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when we'll ask Ford for a Mini 4 GT. And if you want to see these cars in action, be sure to tune in to VODCars.com. I'll see you then.